Uh, so that's another question near and dear to my heart as a finance major. You know, I'm not sure exactly how I ended up in the world of cybersecurity, but I've always preached that we've got to look to beyond the traditional computer science world to bring in you know, qualified applicants. Uh, you know, we're all familiar with the, what the, it was a two million vacancies by 2020 statistic that's been tossed out there. You know, we're not going to find two million uh, computer science majors. Uh, we need to look you know, across you know, the different disciplines and, and really encourage hey, great thinkers you know, to come in and say, you know, our data is going to be highly automated in uh, a year from now, a couple years from now. You know, uh, we need people to come in and ask great questions of that data and really bring their different backgrounds to bear. And also, I think we need to help kind of demystify the cybersecurity uh, career path. You know, I have a 13-year-old daughter, and her perception of a cybersecurity professional is kind of the iRobot, the hacker in a hoodie, operating in our corner. And I mean, she has zero interest in becoming a cybersecurity professional if that's her perception of what the, you know the career opportunities are today. So you know, there, there's been a lot of great efforts from uh, you know getting the, the Girl Scouts, for example. They have a cybersecurity badge program right now. Uh, different companies are bringing in people for, uh, and students for a kind of a hackathon. You know, we really need to make the cybersecurity experience uh, very relatable to the workforce that's going to be inheriting these responsibilities, uh, you know, down the line.